All right, here's the second workout. We just did that warm up. Not gonna too much one stuff. So again, warm up was a jump rope workout if you want. You don't have to do that, but whatever. Let's go. So what we're doing here, so outside the gym workout, I'll be walking you around this wonderful outside world. You're gonna see pull up bar. You might not even be able to see me. You can hear me. Uh, the little dip after S that I created here, right there. Uh, some bars over there. All kinds of stuff. You don't need that, but uh, find a playground and knock it out. So here we go. Each exercise, 30 seconds to a minute long. No breaks. Run into your next station or whatever you got to do. And just keep on going. That's your goal here, okay? So different angles. Let's get started. All right. First one. First exercise. First exercise we're doing, dips here. The legs are off the ground if you can. If not, this is a chest dip, so your chest is pointed down. Coming down almost like a push-up. If you can't do it, a dip, go ahead and do a push-up, essentially, on the, uh, off these wonderful apparatus. So I'm doing dips. What we got? One minute, get a stopwatch or a timer, and go. Make it a little harder. I'm gonna bring it up the knees. Little break, 30 seconds down. This just has to burn out. So you did chest issues. Do climb push up. Triceps to burn. We go and switch back. Ten seconds left. Keep it going. We can follow along. Two more. One more up. One minute. Done with that one. What do we do now? Grab your jump rope so you don't lose it. So we're here outside the gym. I would run, but the next exercise is actually here. So what do we do here? gonna be the wonderful hip buck that everyone that's done it before hates. Uh, so, here you go. Swing it down. You're outside the gym for what? Two breaks and gains. One minute. Get that stopwatch. It takes me about 30 seconds to get set up. Excuse your butt, excuse your hamstrings. Lower back a little bit. You feel my slip. Adjust the toes toe to you. 30 seconds down right there. Your goal is to burn these babies out. Get, get scared. Getting dirt. Tuck your shirt in. And you'll be good to go. Let's go. 15 seconds. But this is too easy for some reason. Be flat. Done with that. Again, grab your jump rope. Say, finish those first two. Heart rate should be up just a little bit. Let's do another one close to where we're at. Adjust. Let's see. You might not see my head, but foot on top, hands by the head, timer, 30 seconds. Once this gets harder, you can't do that. See how my arms are moving with my body. So up, down, down. So where we're at, 30 seconds. Back to that, follow me. Press that leg. 
knee comes forward. A lot of people, they swing their leg up like that. Not swing it, just knee. Knee comes forward, keep the hips back. Five, four. Come right there. All right. That's three. Exercise. Push up, hamstrings, uh, not push ups, dips, and step up explosions. So now what do we gotta go to? A little bit of triceps. Again, if you need some space, or wherever you're doing these step ups at, you could do the tricep dips. Or you could do a little 30 minute jog, a 30 second jog. Break is zero seconds to 30 seconds. Only talking out so I could get something across. So here we go. One minute. Leg straight. If you had a go rep number, you'd go for 30 in the minute. Say you can't do anymore, right? You can bend your legs, make it a little easier. Every single step for me. Chest open. Bend legs. Right there. Easier. Try not to use your legs. Ten seconds still left in the paint. Let's go back into it. You can make it harder by explosive plyometric tricep dips. That's how you do it. Thirty seconds at the most again. We did a push up, burpees, uh, hamstrings. Make sure you have gloves. I didn't bring my gloves today. Uh, Hamstrings, keep the time, and the uh, wonderful what we just did, tricep dips. So then what can we do now? Some abs. So we're already in, uh, we can use this bench or not. On the bench you can come here and use it like that. If you're not that strong or if you want a harder go here. So next one, our favorite, Russian knee tuck twist, hands overhead, legs straight, move what you got to. Come on, legs up the whole time. me for controversy. <laughs> Drizzle it up in here. 30 seconds down. Some autobiographical. That's a little bit classical. <sighs> goal is to go that whole minute with the legs off the ground. Straight <sighs> that, salute that. 15 seconds. Again, if it gets hard, Feet down, rotate off the ground. We're trying to keep it off. 10 seconds. Back flat. Two more reps. One more. Uh, wonderful. Two legs, two chests, two triceps. Make sure your shoes are tight. So what do we got next? Some more abs, why not? It's a 30 second break. You can do any abs you want, but what I do recommend is if you follow along with me, just remember you gotta try to do it at least for a minute. If you need to switch in between, you can. Next exercise, do one down, two ups. Lower abs, one leg comes down, both comes up. This is gonna be a different variation because a lot of y'all probably have done this variation before. Let's do a rotation. So the right leg comes down, rotate to the left of the top. Left leg comes down, rotate at the top. You cannot do that. If you cannot do that, rotation. Keep on going if you're there. Do the regular one down, two up, or have your feet flat and come up across. Down, come up across. Notice this is a regular tuck. I want you to rotate a little bit. So as you pull in, your legs rotate. You'll get 20 seconds. So I'm gonna do the hard version and switch. Boom. I kind of rotated that. It's all good. Any variation you want. Just give me what you can do. Six seconds. Break. And don't get me wrong, it's burning right now. <laughs> so, keep it going. 
Now we're going, we got two ab workouts down. Let's go into uh, some cardio, ab, upper body, lower body combo. So this is the hard part. So <laughs> you're gonna do a burpee push up, double high knees, double switch lunges. You'll see what I mean. Three, you can start here. Two, this is a minute. <laughs> One, two. One, two, land, burpee push up. Right, and then back. One, two. One, two. One, two. <laughs> so, burpee. One, two. You might mess up, let me. That's all good. 30 seconds in now. One, two. Switch legs sometimes. It's awkward, but that's what you want. One, two. Ooh. One, two. One, two. Almost done. 10 seconds. After this round. That's why you need gloves. That's it. That's one minute. So, comboing everything. What does that do? After you burn out everything, basically telling the body, wake up boy, try to get some gains. So, cool thing here, do 30 second break. Guess what we do? Another round of that. 30 seconds, go. Or 45, my bad. I skipped the high knee. Make up for it. One, two, three, four. No skipping. One, two. One, two. 30 seconds in. One. Ten seconds. Last one. Break. Again. Thirty second break. You finish up. Thirty seconds. Keep an eye on your watch, or follow me. Whatever works. You got 10 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen, on this one. It's only 30 seconds now. If this is too hard, you can do it off the bench. I'll show you that it looks like on the next round. And here we go, 30 seconds. Skip again. One, two, three, four, make up those skips. Oh, I almost missed that rep. One, two, three. Four, one, two, switch back. Last rep. Break. 30 seconds. So, take a 30 second break here, right? It's hard, the point. I'm only gonna take a 20 second break. Show you off the bench. You can do this the whole time. Here we go. It's a push up. Don't hit your face. Yeah. One, two. Make up if you miss it. Watch. Three, four. One, two. Uh, one, two. One, two. If you think it's too easy, ladies, Instead of just doing the lunges, you do push up. One, two, up. One, two. Give me two reps with you. you. Got five, four, for everyone else. And done. 15 minutes there. No need. 
or pull a bar or anything. So, if you opt to do this version without any push, I mean, pull up apparatus um, or rowing apparatus again, you can add those in. At the end of this set right here, you start doing the wrong, which I'll do right now. I'll show you with, with those, uh, uh, those things right there. Point is, uh, you're done if you want. It's 15 minutes following me along, uh, dying a bit with that five minute warm up. But let's finish off this workout. We got two more exercises to go, and we're done. Could do this over again. Come around robbing this, do a whole nother set up to you. Uh, but for now, let's finish strong. So, what do you do here? Let's throw in that brass right here. Make sure you don't get any dog crap on you. Don't worry, I'm just playing. No dog crap on me. So, it's gonna be hard for me to show you this. But, here we go. Anyway, uh, you find your little spot. Ugh. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Look at that. 30 seconds. You could go up here, right, or here, which is obviously harder, or you could go underneath the other way. Just watch out where you pull. Ready, three, two, go. Leg sure it's harder than uh, knees bent. Again, going for 30 reps is your goal. If your knees are bent, yeah, a little more stability. Ah, let's go. Thirteen more reps. Ah, ah. One more, six more, five, four. Ah. Ah, phone's burning. Give it all the extra reps for fun. But I'll show you a different angle. So, now, you'll be able to see my face a little bit. Underhand, you can grab it underneath. Right here. And then, hold on. There. If you do this row, and you pull towards your shoulders, sorry, I'm yelling. If you pull towards your shoulders, you'll get a little bit of biceps in there. Let me take over. So as you pull, you kind of curl it. Curl it at the top, you notice, I'll show you the difference. So this is a row, keep on going if you're still going. This is a row, okay? This is a, uh, I guess a curl row. Boom, get a little bicep up. Again, you have this version, this version, underhand on both sides, okay? So again, your goal is to hit 30 uh, for those at the high end of the spectrum. And yes, it burns a lot. You could use two chairs here, two high chairs, or a broom across two chairs. So, Chairs are here, and the chairs are pointed in. Broom stick in the middle that's pretty heavy duty. Or you could just get two benches. So, that works. The peak of the bicep, just a bit. So, that's it. We're about to hit the 20 minute mark. What can we add for the next 30 seconds? We just do 21 in between. Make it a little harder. A little bit of coordination factor. One, two, coordination factor. One, raise one gate. Two, give me 15 more seconds, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, boom. Two, boom, or one, two, 
in. Do one more, fuck it. Let's go. One more. And ah, let's go. 15 seconds to make it a minute. Uh, uh, got me two more reps. Four reps. One more. So, thank you for watching that workout. Uh, following me along, following along with me. Again, you could just round robin rewind this the whole way, end up knocking out a 45 minute workout. You could count this on your sheet as a muscle building cardio workout. So the beauty of that, if you do 45 minutes, not if you do one round. If you do one round, it's considered more of a hit cardio workout. But if you do two rounds, you can do, you can count it. Is it a hit cardio workout? Am I bleeding? No. And a resistance workout. Because uh, one set isn't enough to stimulate enough change to really count that because you're only doing one set. So if you do two sets, you can do that. Use it as a hit and, uh, and a resistance training workout. So last bit on that, last little note, is when you do that, it does not mean that you can't work out tomorrow. Actually, it means you could lift tomorrow some more lower reps, 8 to 12, 12 to 15, stuff like that, especially if you're going higher reps here. So count this as a muscle building cardio workout, uh, hit re regular on your sheet. If not, um, if, if you do 45 minutes or an hour, hit plus resistance training, count this two points. And um, yeah, it shouldn't be easy. If it's easy, wear a weighted vest. I weigh 185, um, so for me, I'm moving 185 pounds of weight, so gains will happen. Um, so some people will make this seem like it's easy. The lighter you are, the easier it is, honestly. Um, recommend you warm up with the jump rope warm-up I showed you before. Uh, again, you can start and end with that if you want. Some skills training, what it is. Um, but yeah, good job, good job, ladies and gentlemen. You did. If you did everything with me, you did set of push-ups to failure for a minute, a 30 second break, etc. right? That's the template, one minute to 30 second break. At the most, again, you could do zero to 30. Take a 30 second break, more muscle building. If you do zero to 15 second break, more cardio endurance aspect there. Uh, then we went into uh, some legs, some hip bucks. Then we went into some switch lunges. Then we went to some dips, or not some dips, uh, uh, step ups. Um, and then uh, different variations of that. Then we went into some dips. And then um, we went into some abs, two different ab exercises. Then we went to a complex exercise where it required us to do chest, a little bit of back only because the shoulder blades and scapula are moving and controlling your descent and your shoulders have to control your descent. Your stability is tested there. Um, legs with the switch lunges, a little bit of abs with those mountain climbers. Um, and you did that a minute on, uh, 30 seconds on, 45 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 15 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Showed you a variation off the bench, cool. And then um, after that, what did we do? Uh, we did that. Then we kind of said, you know, you can stop here if you want, but if you want to go a little bit more, find a little area like you did the dips at the very beginning. I don't know why I said push-ups to dips. Uh, off of this, you do the rows off of that overhand for the first one. A uh, minute, try to go for 30 reps, very hard. Especially your body weight. Leg straight is easier than legs bench. Same thing with dips. Uh, try some dips specifically. And then we went into underhand. We could do a curl version where you grab the edge, the underhand, you grab it this way or this way and you pull and, and to your shoulder a little biceps in there um, again bend your legs it's easier knock that out for a minute then uh, you're technically done if you want to add that little extra minute of 21 crunch left right together for a whole minute go for it be my guest uh, once you finish that take a five minute break get some water wipe down and get ready for round two another 15 to 20 minutes of muscle building cardio my legs are a little burnt out <laughs> feels good i know that tomorrow i'll wake up stronger and uh, ready to fight the next day and uh, make more gains, not only physically, mentally, but overall in every other, every other aspect. So, see you later guys, guys out. Hope you enjoyed the workout.